Okay, it's a road. You see it every day, right? Well, it's pretty obvious what is wrong in this picture. You see that car up there? Obviously, the car is driving on the wrong side of the road. If you saw this, you might think that the driver was drunk or high. For this next story, the driver kind of was, but not on something that you might expect. It was a prescription drug, and it landed her in jail. I turned on 96. And the next thing I knew, the sheriff was asking me to get out of the car. Linda Mead says how she got to that moment is a wild ride. A Houston County Sheriff's Office report says she was driving the wrong way down Highway 96 near Warner Robins' home early one morning last July. When deputies got to her, the report says she was unsteady on her feet and had a hard time standing up. She failed a field sobriety test and was arrested. From the time she turned out of her neighborhood to that conversation with the deputies, she says she can't remember a thing. What she does remember is taking an Ambien sleeping pill the night before. She says her doctor prescribed it. Mead says she blacked out behind the wheel, even though she followed all her doctor's orders. You took the Ambien that you were prescribed as prescribed. Yes. You took the dosage that was prescribed. Yes. You didn't drink alcohol with no. it. No. You were instructed to sleep eight hours before right. driving and you slept right. more than eight hours before yeah. driving. Right. You did everything you were told everything. to do. And yet, you still and black down and end up in jail. Right. That Houston County Sheriff's Office report says a blood test was administered and sent to the GBI crime lab. We got the results of that test and sure enough, she had no alcohol in her system, no illicit drugs. The only substance found in her blood was Zolpidem, the generic name for Ambien. Dr. Avinash Barr, a sleep specialist at Medical Center Navison Health, says extreme reactions to sleeping pills are rare, but they can happen. Assault, uh, you know, driving, uh, causing injury, um, even rape, and, and, and there's been multiple cases reported with, with, with drug use or, or any, any sleep aid that affects your sleep. So in theory, it, it is medically possible that you could have a reaction like this where you would not be aware of it. Mead says that happened to her. She pled guilty to DUI drugs in January, and a judge sentenced her to 12 months of probation and two nights in jail. It was surreal very intimidating. You have to take your clothes off. They have to check to see if you've brought any in. You hear people using awful language all night long, hitting the doors. She got hit with fines and legal fees. I have spent $5,000. And maybe the biggest hit of all, since she travels for work, she lost her license for six months. You can't work right now. No, I can't work.